October 20, 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, He will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord Persistent Prayer Jesus tells his disciples to pray always without becoming weary. They should not be discouraged if God seems not to be listening. Praying constantly is not an exercise in futility, but of living faith. God is infinitely better than the wicked judge of the parable who gives in to a persistent widow for his own comfort. God does not consider our fervent prayer as nuisance. God is not bothered when we always ask for favors. In praying, we cannot go wrong. Our persistence springs from faith and confidence in God who always listens to our prayers. In the first reading, the Israelites battle a tribe of enemies. Moses raises his staff in prayer to God. When his hands grow weary, Aaron and Hur help keep his hands upraised till victory against the Amalekites is complete. Christians should pray nonstop. We need other people to support us in our prayers. We pray unceasingly and painstakingly to obtain our petitions, and to sanctify the things granted to us. God can make us win over our enemies who hinder our journey toward heaven. Nowadays, many people do not see the need to pray. They do not know what to pray for. They find no time to pray. Simply, they have become too secularized.